Hi, my name is Shani. I'm from JFrog Support. And in this short video, I will introduce you to our new feature, Projects. So basically, Projects give us another managing dimension um, above all the resources that we're already familiar with. It introduces several new concepts. And one of them that I want us to get familiar with before we dive in is the Project Admin. As of now, we are already familiar with the Platform Admin which is in charge on the whole Artifactory platform. While the project admin is the admin only for the, for the specific project that he's admin for. That means that the project admin doesn't have the same privilege as the platform admin. Okay, so let's take a look at what projects are. So here I have a fresh installation of Artifactory. I already went ahead and created some stuff, but let's create a project from scratch. So first thing I want you to notice is that I'm logged in as the platform admin. And to create a project, we need to go to the administration model and then click on projects. So you can see that I already have a project here, but let's create a new one and let's give it a name. And we also need to fill in the project key. Okay, so the project key is a prefix that will basically be added to every new resources that we will create under this project. So I went ahead and called it pro one We know it belongs to this project. Um, we also have the option to limit the storage for this specific project, but for now I'll leave it as unlimited. And as, as we already said, each project has a project admin. So here we can change the project admin privileges and let's go and assign our project admin. Users that you see here are users that I've created uh, before. So let's just pick this user. And we've created a new project. And this is how our project looks like right now. We have one project admin. We don't have any repositories under this project. And that's basically it. Now I wanna show you how it looks like for the project admin. Okay, so now I'm logged as the project admin and I've already switched here to view the project. Once we switch to view the project, we are granted with an option for the administration model. Why? Because now we are admins of the projects. So if we click here and then we click on the project overview, we are now able to see the same settings that we saw before as the platform admin. Okay, so let's go ahead and build this project. Let's add some repositories. I'll create two local repositories. And we have an option to choose whether uh, this repository will be belong to the dev environment or to the production. So let's go ahead and leave it as dev for now. And I quickly create another repository for the production. Okay, so now we got two repositories. Now what we need are members for this project. So before we add members, we have an option to create roles. Roles are basically the permissions that we choose to grant for our members. So we have the global roles, but let's go ahead and create one specific for us. So I'll call this Role dev view. And what I want to do is I want to keep it in the dev environment and I want to grant this role with the read artifact permissions. Now, if you notice, you also have the advanced tab. Basically, this advanced tab show you what the permissions that you chose here are translated into. So if we choose the right artifact, when we click on advanced, we can see that it translates into read, annotate, and deploy permissions. But let's go ahead and leave it as read. And we've created a new role. Now we need to assign this role to our members. So let's click on members. Currently, we only have the project admin, so let's add another member. And let's assign a role. 
And that's basically it. Okay, so if we go over to the project overview, we now have two repositories. We have the project admin and we have um, a one wall of dev view, which under it, we have only one member. Okay, so let's see how it looks like for this member. Okay, so now I'm logged in as the as the pro dev user. And if we click on artifacts, we are only able to see our project repositories. And more than that, since the role that was granted only for the dev environment, this user is only able to see dev environment repositories. Remember, because we created two repositories and we cannot see the production one over here. Okay, guys, so that was my video on projects. Thank you for watching and I hope you have enjoyed it. Feel free to leave your comments, feedback or questions in the comment section below.